Hello class, Echidna here. Do you know what I am? Do you wanna know what an echidna is? Well, just to let you know, I live in Australia, and New Guinea, and a few other places in that area, and I am one of the only mammals, besides the platypus, that actually lays eggs. Yeah, I lay eggs. And I'm sometimes called a spiky ant eater. Yeah. All right, so today I'm gonna to help you learn about math fun and using benchmarks and converting measurements, okay? So today we are gonna look at, oh, my benchmarks blew away. Zero, a quarter, where's my other benchmark? A half, three quarters, and one. So the benchmarks are landmarks, and since we've been doing a lot with fractions lately, you can think about benchmarks as our main points that we think about when we're looking at a ruler for measurements. So then if we move down here and look at the ruler, we can see that. On rulers, you can see the half is marked, quarter, half, three quarters, one. Those are the benchmarks. So your challenge today is not only to measure things up until the benchmark numbers, I also want you to convert it to sell, um, to metric. So if we take, I'm gonna ask you to go outside and get, go outside and measure six different things outside. So for example, I have a stick here. Uh oh, it's not long enough. Hmm, let me think about that. Maybe I can pull out my yard stick. So a yard stick is actually 36 inches right there. So 12, which would be a foot, times three. And now this stick keeps going. Why would it keep going? Dun, dun, dun! Because it's actually a meter stick. So Ajax wants to do math too. Yes, I wanna do math. He wants the stick. We'll measure it and give it to you, Ajax. So you can see that centimeters, they're really kind of cool because it's a, on a base 10 system, whereas our system is a base 12 system, one to 12. All right, so centimeters, I want you to notice that, okay, let me get him a stick. All right, there he goes. So he's gonna take a different stick. Okay, and Sadie is here to help us with this. <laughs> okay, so 10, um, okay, so the smallest unit of measurement are the millimeters. 10 millimeters equal one centimeter. 10 centimeters, look at that. Or, I'm sorry, 100 millimeters equal 10 centimeters. 10, um, 100 centimeters equal one meter. Can you see how that works? Which is really pretty neat on this base 10 system. So your challenge for today is to measure items. Now you can use, um, use the proper tool if you have it. If you don't have a yardstick or a meter stick, just continue measuring with your ruler. So we're gonna line it up. I'm gonna have you measure to your point here, 18 and a quarter, and I'm gonna make a chart. And I will post this, uh, this type of chart for you. Um, so I want you to write down the object, like I have a stick, meter, centimeter, millimeter, that's a choice. If you wanna take it to that level, go big. And then also yard foot and inch. Now this stick is too small to be a meter or yard. So, but I measured it, it was 47 centimeters. It was 18 and a fourth inches. Now how many feet is that? So I looked at the feet and we know that if 12 inches is a foot and 18 is six more inches than 12, we know that that's half. So you can write down, oh, this is actually one and a half feet, all right? Now, if you have a little friend, like an echidna, who has a really, really sharp nose, you can use that for pointing to. So, for example, if I measure my stick and I notice from this end to here it's not long enough, you can take something and mark it, like I'm gonna lay my echidna nose there, and then you go and you move your ruler it's hard to do that when I'm filming. You, the main thing is you don't want to lose your main point, but I'm holding a camera so I can't show you. There we go. Okay, so then you measure it from here and you'll see that it's six more inches, six and a half or a quarter from there. So basically we have a foot and a half plus a little more. It is not essential that you go smaller than that on our fourth grade benchmark level. So 
that's kind of what I want you to look at. Look at measuring closely, converting your measurements, and using the benchmarks. If you have any questions, let me know. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll say goodbye to the two dogs who are learning metric and chewing on my sticks. All right, bye-bye.